This is Bacillus lentimorphus bean culture. This is Bacillus culture, but I could have put a few drops in, a few millimeters. I have sodium chloride, I have protein mix, I have sodium formate, I have other salts mixture with it. I have things like uh, ammon diammonia phosphate and a few other compounds to preserve the bacteria culture when it's being air bubbled. I'm going to put this into a large bottle, bottle and seal it and then have a culture and centrifuge it or filter it and get the stuff off. But it's creating bubbles on the top which are, are I don't know what that is but I think it's biosporms, bioforms. The culture in the, on the bottom is, is, is Bacillus lentimorphus, which creates cryotoxin. But I don't know how much cryotoxin. I'm not sure why it turns pink, but I think it could be that the light and the, and the, and, and the U, near UV is creating an intense form, intense, intense form of, of pigment. Now we're going to record the temperature of it, and it should be 18 to 20. 20.2 20 degrees Celsius, which is quite accurate to what I need it for. It has to be 20 to 25. If it's above 25, it might kill the bacteria and, or pre prevent spores from being produced. So this is a bacteria spore of Bacillus lentimorphus, which creates a natural cryotoxin that only affects certain insects. So it will be very interesting to, to, to apply to the garden. It's also a, a EM bacteria, which produces natural microbes that m might help both, back, both cultures too because it was found naturally in the soil. If you look at this very carefully and turn off the light, you can tell that it's already turning a bit, a bit of an orangey pink color, which I don't, I'm not sure what that is, but I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's due to the light, the compounds, and the bacteria being produced.